what you're seeing is a lot of projects coming online that really deal with quality of life. And with the new projects coming on, Sports Complex, Senior Citizen Center, the Aquatic Centers, those are the things that the public has allowed us to do. And it's basically, it's our responsibility to make sure those things continue to be good quality for the future, because it is all about creating a future. I still feel like that small town kid that just graduated a few years ago from Ada High School. And I went off to school. I went for the best education. I got some amazing training out in Philadelphia and have brought that back to Ada. And that's what I hope to see with Ada is the best of the world brought right here to Ada. Because it's my town. Um, it's one of those things that I know that they had came to me because I'd had some ideas that I presented to not even intentionally talking to a city councilman or somebody that works for the city, but some different ideas. I even know when I was in Philadelphia, there were times that went out of my way to go take pictures of, oh, this is something that I would love to bring to Ada. Um, and so that's why I know they approached me, but it was, I've always just had ideas of, this is my town, this is my city, this is, I was born here, I was raised here. As my wife says, she's still looking for the Maiden Ada sticker on me somewhere, and she knows I'll be buried here. Well, I decided to run for council because I, I think I can offer some of my knowledge, uh, some of my experience. Uh, I think I can be a good representative for the citizens. I think I come to the council with an open mind. I understand the problems and the opportunities of our community. I see a lot of needs throughout the community and obviously through my ward, but there are a lot of things happening, a lot of good things happening. But with those new projects and all of the things that are going on right now comes a, an increased responsibility. Well, I retired uh, in April of 2016. I had been employed by the city of Ada for uh, just short of 38 years. I've watched city councils. I've watched how obviously the city government works, how budgets work, how all the departments interact. You know, I've watched basically 38 uh, different versions of city councils and 38 budget processes. So I think I, I bring maybe operational knowledge and financial knowledge to the city that I think maybe is a little unique from most council members. My dad has a small business on Main Street. My mom has a realtor on Main Street. My brother, up until he went back to school, was a, hey, he had a chiropractor office on Main Street. This is my town, this is everything, this, this is who I am. And um, I want what's truly the best for Ada, and I want what we can, what we can do the best for Ada and to continue Ada like it's been for the last 40 years of my life. I hope to be even better and continue on with the next 40 years. Long range vision is getting word of Ada out, but what I hope to be known as is Ada known for some great things, small businesses, for the park. A park is just an amazing place that it took me a while to figure out going to other places that, you know what, every place doesn't have a Wintersmith Park. And to really be known that this is something that is really special and really well known and that the small business atmosphere, that the restaurants, that just the different things that you have in Ada, it's unique to a town like Ada. Well, I want to see our economy be healthy. I want to see the quality of life uh, continue to uh, get better for our citizens. I want to see our citizens, uh, you know, our, our job outlook. Uh, our economy, all of those things obviously um, are important down the road. And it's a, it's a complicated process to deal with all of those. Uh, but, you know, I look forward to that challenge um, as, we, as we continue to grow. Well, one of the first things I want to see completed is the uh, Main Street renovation. I think that's critical. You know, I've tried to look throughout the city. There's a lot of things happening on Lonnie Abbott uh, in a lot of different areas. I still think Main Street is one of the important, most important areas of town, but that's our front door. I would like to see that happen, but then I think as a council, we have to look at, at all areas of town. We have to balance that and make sure that we don't shortchange any one area because every area of town is important.
First of all, let's finish some of the big road projects and some of the big projects we've got. We have Kerr Lab that's a big project that's going on. We've got the swimming pool over in Glenwood that's going on. Let's well, finishing up some of those kind of projects. There's been a lot of those kind of things that through, I know through Prop 1, Prop 2 money over the last 20 years have really built to a lot of these things that we're finally getting to get done. So get some of those and then continue on with similar things. the partnership that Ada is making more and more with the Chickasaws, I think that's a big help. You know, I think moving more in areas of small business growth is certainly a good way. You know, technology has changed so much and it continues to change. And I think if we can move more, not only for the city of Ada, but also the businesses, the people of Ada utilizing technology in a better way. Our economy's pretty good, actually. You see lots and lots of small towns that are just really struggling. People are fleeing in droves from small communities. Ada's not that way. It does have a good downtown. It does have a good business climate. We do have a lot of jobs out there. We have a strong uh, university. The Chickasaw Nation brings a, a lot to the table as far as our quality of life. So we have a lot of positives.